Philippines romance. Uh, when fools fall in love, I suppose. The thing with this is, um, it sort of gets onto the topic I've mentioned before about taking your time. Um, a lot of people will connect with somebody the moment they get to the Philippines, whether they've been dating online or get there and suddenly this woman's attracted to them and then bang, that's it, we're going to get married, going to do this, do that. I shouldn't rush. There is no rush. And the, the, the thing is, the longer you're in the Philippines, the more familiar you are and the more you're aware that you can connect with other women and you can find other partners. Because maybe that one that you originally met is not the best match. Maybe you have nothing in common. Maybe she's got no educational background, whatever. But the point is, the longer you're in the Philippines, the more you're going to come across people that are a better match. Um, now, I'm not saying that the person that you may have been talking to online or whatever is not a good match. I'm just saying that the opportunities, if you spend more time um, investing in looking for a perfect match, if, if you're going down that route, then you're more likely to find the person that is going to be somebody that can be a lifelong partner. Um, a lot of people don't. A lot of people are coming from a Western mindset where in the West everybody is being programmed that they are not desirable. They are um, constantly striving to have better hair, better teeth, better clothes, you know, aspiring to be a fantasy um, because it sells. So the whole point is, it's about okay. sucking confidence. It doesn't matter if it's male or female, it's exactly the same. It's the same with the more tanned in the West, at the same time whiteness open in the East. It, it's striving to have something that just generates revenue for those behind it. And coming to the Philippines, if you're coming with a mindset that maybe you'd find it harder to find a woman in the West, or you're not interested in a woman in the West, but in the Philippines, because of the the way people are, they are more accepting. They they actually may be attracted to you, not just on finance. This is the funny thing is, you know, everyone will go, "Oh, it's they just after money." This is it's often the argument on this sort of stuff. But the, at the end of the day, a lot of people want a better life, and it's not always about money though. It's about a better relationship. It's about having a foundation. It's about having a environment that is going to offer more as a family unit or as a couple or whatever. Um, it's not always monetary, although everything ends up coming back to money. You can argue anything about money, um, but fundamentally, what they're looking for from the majority of the women I know and speak to is stability, security, reliability, and a guy that basically just does his own thing but doesn't cheat, doesn't do, you know, they're just looking for somebody who's genuine. Um, but it means that your options in the Philippines is reversed. We're, we're in the Western mindset, you may A, not have interest in a lot of the women from the West, but B, women are less approachable. In the Philippines, you can just wander up and start chatting to people and most people are okay with it. Um, getting that engagement of just finding a ideal partner is much better to take a bit of time, get familiar with somebody, understanding them. And also, if you do get into a relationship, say for example, you go to the Philippines and you've been chatting with, I don't know, say three three women online, just tell them, I'm, because this is a lifelong commitment, or um, I'm not committing to one one person until I'm 100% I've met the right person. doesn't mean they are or aren't the right person, but it actually means that you're taking in, into account that you could end up in a relationship, and I've seen expats do this, and then suddenly, six months later, they want to go with somebody else because they found somebody who was a better match, or they found that the, the person that was, she may be beautiful to them, but then later on, they found somebody more beautiful or has more depth to them or whatever, um, which is why I do recommend taking your time. People are going on a two-week holiday and just 
call it a day and say, yeah, we, chat, we chatted, went there, uh, we've been chatting for a month, went there, met them, yeah, I think we're going to get married. I think you need to step back a little bit <laughs> and slow things down. Take your time. You'll, you'll find that if you take your time, you're more likely to meet a good person that is a better connection for both of you. Um, and as such, everybody wins. A lot of the negative stuff that gets posted out there, you never hear the guys actually mentioning what they did. Now, don't get me wrong, I've seen some horror story women as well, but at the same time, about, I'd say about 90% 90, 90 of them, I could see it at day one. Because I've spent enough time around different types of women, I can see a lot of the traits and stuff that often come with a certain mindsets. It's not difficult. But it comes from experience and spending time and meeting people. And that's why I'm saying don't make yourself exclusive at day one. That's why fools fall in love. Because fools feed with emotion. They're not, they're not thinking about it. They're locking themselves into something early on without the thought of consequence or the thought, is this actually a real relationship? Because it's not love you're feeling. It, initially, it'll be lust because love takes time to develop. You can have an instant attraction with somebody, don't get me wrong, it can be that instant thing where you just hit it off. Um, but at the same time, love is something you develop. And that's why I say when people say, oh, you know, I fell in love straight away, it's like, but did you? Or is it the fact that you're leading with the fact from emotions? Emotions that somebody's took an interest in you, or you've come out of a divorce and now, you have a lot of um, confidence issues that you haven't dealt with and now you've got this wonderful woman that fundamentally has everything on the surface she's taken an interest in you suddenly you've got a boost of confidence etc but take into account there's two people involved here take into account if they're constantly sat on the cell phone and agree with everything you say. It's very likely they're not listening to a word you're saying. Um, I recommend spending time to meet the right right person because it's very easy to meet the wrong one. There's a lot of wrong people out there, but the, to get a right match it takes time. There is no rush, and like I said, just tell them you're taking your time to make sure you meet the right person. And with that, if they're a smart woman anyway they would recognize that because that's a bit of common sense because it's already going through their head anyway anyway thanks for watching